I even need an introduction? I'm King George from Survivor Brains vs Brawn. I got to the final tribal council and I was robbed. I'm coming back to take back what's rightfully mine. My crown that Haley stole from me. Back home in my kingdom in Bankstown, I've had a glow up. I'm as strong as a Lebanese housewife. I'm not coming to Samoa for redemption. I'm coming back for salvation. On behalf of the Macedonian Jesus, I'm on a crusade to slay. This is the second coming of King George. Does it feel to be back as one of the game's biggest villains? I'm really delighted to be back. I've been working out, Jonathan. I've, I've had a bit of an upgrade. This is George 2.0. You told me you liked my idol so much, so I got it permanently tattooed on me. I hope you're impressed. <laughs> It's your nice idol. Thank you. Nice yellow jumpsuit. Thank you. <laughs> I told you, I have a fun I feel great to be on the villain's tribe. I lived my dream out in the outback last time, and playing for a second time, this is like the coronation of the king, and my reign is just beginning. I know I've got the biggest target in Australian Survivor history on my new broad shoulders, but they've grown for a reason. I'm the kind of person that can dodge the bullet. You don't need to prioritise shelter building on day one in Australian Survivor. You need to prioritise relationships and conversations. I've been such a big fan of you as a poker player since the day I basically turned 18. Really? I look Jackie in the eyes and I know that this is a person that I can trust. Jackie's a poker player. She's used to playing hard and aggressively on the poker tables. Great. There's my rock-solid ally in this tribe. Someone's doing assignment. He's just bossy to everyone. Just put it, put it down. Yeah. Do you want to dig a hole? Yeah. And then Geordie, I wouldn't trust as far as I could throw him. Shawnee, she's keeping her cards close to her chest. You played with her. I've never met her, Jackie. Julie, I used to love you on Dateline. Oh, I used to watch Dateline honey. all the time. <laughs> my alliance with Kara propelled us both to the very end, and I found my Kara. Two of them in Jackie and Angeli. Jackie, on the course now. Oh. Wow, that's gonna hurt. Oh, are you guys okay? Jackie's still in the mud pit. She does not look happy. Just stay there. I'm gonna have the medics take a look at you. George is okay, but they're gonna keep him overnight for further observations. There he is! Hey. Oh. my neck and then I started thinking my mum's gonna get a call back in Bankstown and she's gonna be told that her son has a broken neck. Oh, okay good I cried great. Sometimes I'm like cry cry. Yeah good. I'm in trouble on this tribe. Angelie's been voted off. Jackie's been medivaced. My two closest allies are out of the game. Oh, look, everyone has their own opinion on the situation, um, but we came together and made a unanimous decision, and it is what it is. We won today's reward challenge, and I can't wait to start the raid on the Heroes Tribe. Leave them a very simple message. Do what you have to do, George. We've taken your food and left you with no dignity. <laughs> <laughs> we need to graze it to the ground. Come on, put the machete down. down. I'm cutting their shelter. Right now. I don't You're give a, a rat's food. ass about being nice to them. <laughs> if you're worried about playing with them at a later date, yeah. that's your priority. But my priority is the villain's tribe. Yeah. I'm okay. prioritizing oh, our current yeah, tribe I agree. over future I agree relations. With you. Mimi, the first time player, giving me the king of Survivor tactical advice to leave the other tribe food? Well, let me tell you something, sweetheart. You actually have to get to a tribe swap to play with the nice. heroes. But I've already lost two girls. I can't lose the only gay. That would be a crime against humanity. Thank you. So I think if you just keep like, pitching my food. 
I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm on your train. Which train? Which one of the Spice Girls? Yes. With my scary face, I can be scary Spice. Spice. <laughs> baby. baby Spice? I thought you'd be Posh Spice. Um, well, this is going to be Sporty Spice. What did I actually do to you, Michael? Like, I'm just, no, I'm just, I'm just wondering, like, we, we haven't had any conversations in five days. I was being treated for a possible fractured neck for one of them. <laughs> what did I actually do to you to get you so frothing mad tonight? Not frothing mad, and you've done absolutely nothing You're to red me. in the forehead. <laughs> Your temples are about to explode. Maybe it's the fire. But John will ask me who I don't trust, who's at least trustworthy. Second person voted out of Heroes vs. Villains, Michael. Michael, when you go home tonight, you remember these words. I'm the king of this game. Nobody will remember your name. Mate, we are in the roots of trees. Okay, where, where? Big roots on the way to the world. Okay, you use one yet? No. If you go off running looking for an idol now, I'm not going you to. better damn find one, otherwise yeah. every vote will go on you. Third person voted out of Heroes vs. Villains, Mimi. I'm going to save What? I wouldn't mind dying. Going where? If you're British. What? It's, it's cold. I'm not exactly my favourite spot. It's just a, it's just a spare spot, mate. Don't, don't worry. Do you think it's like next to Jerry's? I don't really mind that Jerry's coming to the camp. But Simon's put out the welcome mat for that old codger. If Simon bans with Jerry, my position in the tribe isn't as strong as it was before. And it'll make sure that Jerry doesn't get too close to Simon. My relationship with Geordie, which is progressing in my favour, but I can't let Simon get another puppet in Jerry and ruined everything that I've been working on in the kingdom of George. Can I work with Jerry or not? Yes, yes, yes. When Hayley hugged me, she whispered something to me. She said, make sure you work with Jerry. Yeah. But it, it, the baggage is I went further than him in the game and he needs to just get over it. I don't know why Sarah's decided to leave my protection for Simon. I've got to watch my back for Sarah. She's the beauty queen that pushed another one down the stairs. But tonight, I'm going to push Sarah right back and I'm going to do everything that I can to make sure that Sarah will go next. Fifth person voted out of Heroes vs. Villains, Sarah. And now that Jerry's joined our tribe, I can set up my next moves. It'd be great to get one more going, though. Who are you referring to? Mm -hmm. Oh, there he is. That sweet, innocent 64-year-old geezer is going to put the final nail in Simon's coffin. He's a gazelle in the bush. We're the lions. <laughs> um, it's kind of my door. Who does? Um, oh, my God. So, so. Ah, Simon. He has no idea how to play this game. He's just clueless. Sometimes it's better the devil you know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Simon's dug his grave so deep, he's not even going to realise that he's about to go home with an idol in his pocket. The plan is to strengthen this tribe by chopping off the weak. And that's what I'll be doing at the voting booth tonight. You can't vote for yourself, mate. <laughs> what do you mean by that, Simon? I don't, you're not our strongest horse in the stable, is what I'm saying. Oh, thanks, Simon. That's all right. I, I, I look back at why I decided to come back for a second time. Because when I went out to the outback, I literally achieved everything under the sun that I could ever have dreamed of as a lifelong Survivor fan. And I don't have a legacy to add here in Samoa. You don't want to win? It's not about winning, Simon. <laughs> winning isn't everything. I'm going to give all of you a chance to win individual immunity 
right now. Make him flush the idol. We all work for Steve, okay? We just, we just work for Steve, right? Okay. Big flame now. Simon wins! Individual immunity! This is the strategy. We are an indivisible block of three out of six. I am a cause of love between the three boys. That I lost when I was trying my best. If you're like you... You know what, Simon? Stop putting on the show. We're over it, for God's sake. Simon told me the plan was Steve, so... Clearly, it must have changed multiple times today. Shop Simon, Simon is shops, um, everyone's pushing name for my name. Um, of course he has. You call yourself a king. That's what grinds my gears, George. The king. It's just jealousy, Simon. That's what Let me finish. Your Let me finish. Jealousy. No, you cut me off before. I have not done anything to you in this game. I've been civil to you. You've literally yelled at me. And then you are so passive aggressive, you feel the need to speak over me. Never make this game personal, Simon. Never. Thank you, George, for that. Don't make the same mistakes you made in the outback. I'm not going to. Just have a quick meeting. I have an idol. I'm well, playing it tonight. You're going to get showed tonight. No one's a bigger warmonger in this game than me. And I'm about to blow shit up. Wow, they're green this year, Jonathan. Isn't that interesting? It suits the colour of my dog shirt. So who are you sending home? Well, are you going to save Steve with your idol, Simon? <laughs> Pressure's on. Yeah. Are you a hero or a villain? <laughs> Simon, we are one third through the game. You've made a lot of mistakes. You've treated me as your enemy when I'm not. Better the enemy battering down at your front door of the fort than the traitor within. Geordie was going to do something to you much, much worse than what Danny did to you in the outback. Because Danny didn't pretend to be your best mate like Geordie does. Geordie's told every single person here about your rival. For me, Jonathan. All right. It's a lose-lose for me, George. Like... Yes, that's why I'm a political operative. That's yeah. why I'm the king of Australian Survivor, Simon. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. You're all learning a lesson. Are you saving Steve or not? I protect my people to the death. Because glory or death, Steve. <laughs> You're a liar, Don't forget mate. that. You said you'd protect us. You glory fly. or death. Mm. And you Do you feel protected, Jordan, when after you, that? When, when you wake up tomorrow morning, Steve, you'll know who you can believe. Sixth person voted out of heroes versus villains. Fraser. Checkmate. Whoa! Now you know who you can trust tomorrow, Steve. This was a test. Jeez. Thank you for the conversation at camp. It really meant a lot to me. That's, that's one interpretation. The other one was, Geordie organised the blind side of Simon for the second time with an idol. He was so oblivious, he had no idea it was coming. But then we had an individual immunity challenge that Simon crushed, and he saved himself and sadly for Fraser, he was collateral damage in a minority vote. And I played my idol. Ooh. Simon still has an idol. Okay, 260. 300. 320. We're burning it. 320 to George. Oh, you have it, mate. Hey, you gonna let him have it? Yeah. All right, 320 to George. Shawnee yeah. and Liz. Oh! oh. 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 Are we going now? Yes, you oh. are. The <laughs> Spice Girls are gonna have the time of their lives at this feast. We're gonna eat every single block of cheese, every bit of meat, and munch on as much cabanossi as we possibly can. <laughs> yeah. like, well, we still don't have much time, yeah, so we need to get on this fire. We need to get food going, yeah. so we need firewood. I'm going to get the fire going. Yeah. Um, we're going to 
get the rice ready if you can do that. Yep. Yep. Tonight's vote is crucial. It's the first one since we've dropped our buffs and it sets the complete tone for the rest of the Heroes tribe moving forward. I don't want Ben going home and I want one of the other original heroes to be sent packing. Well, think about what God would want. What would God, God want? So Stevie, it's like a pathway, so we're trying yeah. to just keep everything yeah. over there. Steady up, because you're gonna smudge it. Yeah, mate, oh, trust me, I've been doing the fire the whole time, mate. I don't think God likes Paige. Just get rid of Paige. At tonight's Tribal Council, I think the cowgirl is going to ride her pony home. George! Thank you, Shani. George does not count. George does not count. George does not count. George does not count. Page. Each person voted out of Heroes vs. Villains. Page. Me, Shawnee, Jerry, and Steve are a majority of four with seven players left on this new Heroes tribe. We control the numbers. Let's do sit down. And we can't wait to put out hit after hit on Ben, on Flick, and on Matt. Which, what do you think happened over there? I think it's more of the same, and I interpret that move as a declaration of war. We've got two hostages here, and I'm ready to cut them loose. Throwing it, throwing it. Okay. Not so much. Today's challenge, I put in a huge effort. Ooh, I'm pushing so hard here, everyone. We must reflect in the feet. We lost. Oh. I threw the challenge today for one simple reason, to vote out these original heroes. Oh, I'm going to show his idol? No, he's giving it to Flick. Do you want to show us, Flick? I do have an idol. Is it? Yeah, I do. Do you want to put it on your neck, Flick? Not really. I'll keep no. it in my bag and I'll whip it out tonight. You think Flick should deal with it? Why don't you put it in the fire, Flick? <laughs> <laughs> Think about it, Flick. Dream on, mate. That's a risk I'm not gonna take. Why? <laughs> it'll it'll lock in the future of your game. It will. It must. It's something you can talk will. about at a final <laughs> tribal council. But right now, it's time to change the plan and to bring Matt on board. He's dilly dallying around where Matt can't decide whose side he's on. I don't care if Matt is a nice bloke. I don't care if he saves people's lives in the ocean. All I care about is this. Which side Matt will choose at Merge? In the cookie jar. Well, Simon, you passed it on to your best friend, Flick, and lied to all your mates over there. Why don't you explain yourself? You know what, George? I don't know what the hell is going on. Well, that's very clear to all of us. I've lived with Flick for 47 days in the outback. And I know to take Flick's promises with a grain of salt. <laughs> But I think Shawnee and Liz have fallen under Flick's spell. Nina blindsided you last night. She's working with the others. Was she going to go get me out? Yes, it was you. I know that our alliance will be stronger and better together in the future if we chop Flick now. She changes sides like the wind. Why would I leave Flick in the game so she could run off Back to Sam and David the moment we hit merge. No, no, this is what will happen because Flick will be Flick. Lovely girl, but we're not the priority. Flick just will flick on the game like that. I can't trust her when she says she wants to work with us. She's just like a I think we should get. Nothing's changing, right? We also want women. Mm. <laughs> it's true. It's just strategically, it's worse for us with Rick. Yeah, no, that, that, that's all right. Yeah, they're done. Going back there, hoping to align with a hierarchy. I just can't see it. Oh. Eleventh person voted out of Heroes vs. Villains, Stevie.